ladies and gentlemen, this is Josh over at the Brawling Brothers Board Gaming Podcast, and my friend, of course, Sausagey Sweetie Man Brandon. Sweetie Man, I don't want. I we're on another person's show, and I'm Sausage <laughs> Man. I or Sweetie, I don't want to be this guy. <laughs> so I'll, I'm fine with just Sausage Man. So uh, we decided that we wanted to send a quick shout out over to our friends at Heavy Cardboard, Edward and Amanda, because they are dear, dear friends of ours. They are amazing uh, contributors to the board gaming hobby, and they have a, I think it's a Patreon drive for their Patreon. Is that how this works? A Patreon? A Patreon. patron. What's a Patreon? I don't know. That's what I think Uh, I see. I'm pretty sure it's a patron drive for their Patreon. They should have thought about that when they named this. It's hard for you to, to just get a sentence out, much less stitch together Patreon patron drive. <laughs> so if you're listening to this show, you obviously are fans of Heavy Cardboard, but I think it's really important just for us to highlight how important Edward and Amanda and Heavy Cardboard is for our hobby. And that's why we want to give just a quick shout out and offer our support as much as we possibly can for their patron via Patreon drive. How's no, that? No, patron Damn via it. Patreon. I'm going to get it eventually. Never. I? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's it's they're so important right not only are they doing this amazing video content but they continue to make heavy games more accessible to your average gamer to your incoming board gamer and that's really important because as publishers see the desire for these heavy games grow we're going to get more and more games that are above the entry level weight and i think that it's really important to have shows that focus on this heavier style game within the community no one does it better right now than edward and amanda at heavy cardboard one of the greatest things about heavy cardboard that i'd like to just highlight real quick is that they've exposed us to all these heavier games and i always love to watch when brandon's head just completely splits usually right down the middle kind of a little bit to left to center because his nose is a little bit large and it's a little crooked so i I think it kind of just falls right off that little weird line there but his head will just split in half slowly as the game goes on and i would like to thank edward and amanda for exposing us to some of these heavier games that makes brandon's head just split in half. I think that's fantastic. But after you're playing all those heavy games, make sure you hop over and listen to the Brawling Brothers because we don't talk about heavy games that much, really. I do talk about older games in one of our segments. We do talk about games that are kind of all over the kind of gambit for board gaming. But if you want to expose yourself to Brandon... If don't you want Brandon, don't, if you want Brandon to, to expose himself to you, I will file restraining orders. Is there an exposing of anything here? I don't know. I'll let you finish this off, Brandon. Hey, support Edward and Amanda. Check us out at brawlingbrothers.com. What's up, y'all? Welcome to Game Day with Heavy Cardboard, where we teach, play, and discuss medium and heavy strategy board games, war games, 18xx. Tonight, we are really stoked to bring you the first game from the 2017 Essen Spiel Hall. The 20, excuse me, the 2016 Hippo Dice competition winner, Kalimala, designed by Fabio Lopiano. Lopiano? Yeah, we'll go with that. Sorry, Fabio. <laughs> and published by, uh, by ADC Blackfire. I'm your host, Edward Euler. Happy to be joined, as always. Familiar cast of folks. Amanda Euler. And Matt McChesney. All right. As you all can see down on the scroll down below. So, welcome. Um, so, before we get started, a couple things. Um, this is definitely a, a, a mid-weight euro. Um, it's pretty basic. It's just the, the mechanisms are really, really clever and really well done in this game. And also something else that I wanted to show you all before we got started. If you're not familiar with a gentleman by the name of Hank Rolleman, I think is how you say it. His, uh, he is a phenomenal mm-hmm. board game uh, photographer. And he took a really, really slick picture of this that we used and credited for uh, the intro, yep. uh, the static screen. So figure we'd show that to y'all here real quick. 
So that's it. That's with the limited edition buildings, which you guys are going to see temporarily. Um, so there are going to be some people that are upset that they did not get the special buildings. I'll be honest, they're completely extraneous and add zero to the gameplay. So if you didn't get them, uh, we're not even going to play with them tonight. So you guys will be able to see that they literally bring nothing to the table other than they look cool. Yeah, right? they do. They, that, that's about it. Okay. Uh, so welcome again, everybody. Let's uh, go ahead and roll into it. So get comfy. Thanks for joining us. And uh, while we join us, while we enhance the prestige of and around the city of Florence in the late Dark Ages, late Middle Ages. There about sometime, long yeah, time some, ago. Go with that, right? Something like that. Long so, time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Or not really. All right. So as you can see, before we get started, the buildings. These are the limited edition buildings, and the one thing that we will use out of it is the limited edition first player marker or active player marker. So these buildings, just they're on a piece of plexi, and they mark those spaces on it. That's literally all they do. And if you're sitting on that side of the table, it makes it a little hard to be able to see past the buildings to those. So there you go. That's what, I mean, they look cool, right? You got those, mm -hmm. right? They, so, look, they look neat, but. But yeah, actually, unnecessary. You could technically play with that, maybe. Yeah, but you oh, can, actually, that looks pretty that. good. You couldn't see. Can you see that? No, you can't see past yeah, it's still it. Getting so, no. All right, so anyway, we wanted to show you guys. Um, so the piece of plexiglass and then the buildings and that's that. So we're gonna take them out of the way and we'll go ahead and get started. So players are members of the Art de Kalimala, the Guild of Cloth Finishers and Merchants in Foreign Cloth in the Republic of Florence during the late Middle Ages. We'll be producing and trading cloth and gaining prestige by delivering our goods to foreign markets, contributing to the construction of the buildings, and sponsoring works of art in and around the buildings of Florence. So let's go ahead and take a look at the board to begin with. So we have the victory point track around the outside of the board, as y'all can see. Then we have the Palazzo Vecchio, which is the city council, which is this area, as well as the actual building, Palazzo Vecchio. This is going to be the scoring tiles, which were random at setup. So there's 15 random scoring tiles, and that's just the order in which they came out. Then there's the city grid, which are the action tile area, and these eight around the outside are all random at setup. So as you can see, there's nothing underneath them. So we randomly selected them. The only one that is on the board is the donation or, uh, there's another term for it, which I'll get into, but this is the only one that's printed on the board. All the eight on the others on the city tiles go around the outside. Then there's the three buildings under construction, the churches and cathedral. Players are going to donate goods there to help build the buildings. So there are three different types of goods in this game. There's wood, there's brick, and there's stone, as well as art, uh, works of art. So we're going to be donating these things to the different to help build these. Uh, we have the, uh, I believe this is the cathedral, and these two are churches or something. That's what it looks like the, it should be. Uh, right. <clears throat> then we have the uh, the trade cities. So there are three that are reachable by ship with the ship mm -hmm. icon on them. So uh, we have Barcelona, Lisbon, and London. And then we have the three that are available that are only available to uh, via travel of wagons, which is Troyes, Bruges, and Hamburg. So three game names right there. Right. Yep. <laughs> Then we're, we have the uh, the deck of action cards, which some of them are already displayed at the top for the beginning of the game. And then we have uh, a total of 10 scoring cards here. Everybody in a three-player game has three of them. We're going to keep one of these at the beginning of the game. And then there's going to be one secret one here for the game. That is only in the three-player game. That's going to, normally it would be get two and choose one, okay? So then we have our player mats, which are right here on, so you'll be able to see everybody's player mats and stuff. So here we go. So on the player mat, this is basically a player aid of all the available actions that are over here. All nine actions are listed right here, and we'll go over those here in a minute. Then we have the workshops. 
Everybody starts with one workshop and you can build two others. Then there's the port, this water area where you're going to be able to build up to three ships. Then there are the warehouses. This is where you store your wood, your brick, and your stone. And then the player pieces up above. So we have the, uh, the trade, uh, shoot, the uh, trade houses. There you go. Then we have the three ships. You have 12, and this is also player count dependent, 12 action tokens, as well as everybody has two white action tokens, plus the 50 point marker if you pass it, which in a three player game, maybe. In a four or five, highly unlikely. All right, so the game is gonna be played in turns clockwise from the starting player. So when we randomize turn order, the starting player is going to get this and keep this for the entire game so that it's possible we all end up with the same amount of turns. On a player's turn, the active player will place one of their discs onto an action space between any two of the actions out here so that they can activate both of the actions in any order they choose. So for instance, if I place a disc here, I will get those two actions. If I place it here, I'll get those two actions, so on and so forth. So now what we're going to do is go through what the different nine actions are following this list right here in order. So the first one is uh, get wood, brick, or marble. You're going to get one of that appropriate resource to a maximum of four because there's only room for four. Players also have player pieces and these player pieces where they are dictates what they are. So for instance, if I put it here, it's wood. If I put it here, it's brick, so on and so forth cloth up here, marble there. Okay, simple enough. So the brick space, the wood space, and the marble space. Anytime on my turn, if for instance, I place a disc here, I get to activate both of those actions in any order. The first one is get brick, easy enough. I take one, I get a brick, very simple, right? Same goes with marble and wood, all right. So the next action that we're gonna talk about is right here, which is the building action. The building action requires you to discard some amount of goods, be it uh, wood or brick or a combination of the two. So discard two wood from your warehouse here to build one ship. When you build a ship, you put it here. Oh, I have a ship. Okay. If you discard two bricks, you get to build one trade house. So the trade house here will go into any of the three land cities and notice that there are three buildings. In a three player game, no one's going to get blocked out because once you build a trade building in one, you can only have one per city here. So nobody can get blocked out in a three player game. In a four and a five, you can. And last but not least, if you discard one wood and one brick, you can uh, get a second uh, uh, workshop, which or a sub, uh, an additional workshop. So this that would flip over, and now you have two cloth, basic, basically they're cloth uh, warehouses. Okay, and you obviously can have a maximum of three of those. So we've now covered four of the actions: there, 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 and there. Any questions so far? No. No. All right. Cool. Next, we're going to go to the artwork location. So this one. This allows you to create artwork for one of the four buildings. So the bottom row in each of these buildings has a little statue, looks just like this. So you can then, if you have marble, you can, when you take this action, so let's say I went there, I get a brick, easy enough, and then I spend one marble to then place it in any of the four buildings out there, as long as spaces uh, are available. Obviously, if it's full, it's full. You can't do that. Pretty simple on that. Next is we uh, weave cloth, which is this spot right here. This one works a little bit different than your normal resources because for every workshop that you have, you get one cloth for every workshop. So if I have one, I have one. But if I had already built a second one previously, when I take this action, then I get one there and I get one there, so it's a better efficiency, you know, better use of actions. However, there's something that I guess I should point out also, that if a player ever cannot do an action at all, meaning I go here and let's say, let me give a good example. Let's say I already have four cloth 
and I placed my disc here. So I would then get one brick. I cannot get cloth because I'm full of cloth. In that case, I get an action card into my hand. And these action cards are these nine actions at random. There we go. All right, so any questions on that? If you ever cannot do an action at all. So the reason I bring that up now is, let's say I take this action. Okay, cool, I get a brick and then a cloth. Well, I get one in each of these. Well, this one's full, but I can still partially take that action. I do not get a card. Okay. Okay, so if you, <clears throat> if you can at all do that action, you do not get a card. You can do any okay? part of it. Right. So that's weaving cloth. You get one per. Any questions on that? Pretty easy, right? Mm -hmm. The next one is shipping. It's the ship. So at that point, if you have ships, you can then ship uh, as many ships as you have. So for instance, if I have one ship built, then I can take one cloth and deliver it to any of the ship location uh, cities out there. So literally, I would take one cloth and place it there. However, if I have two, I can place two. And in that case, I can put two in the same city. I can go one and one, however I want to do it. Easy enough, right? So that's shipping. Next, transport via wagon, which is this action right here. It looks a lot like the shipping action, except it's going to be based on how many trade buildings you have already built. So if I've only built one here, I can only deliver one to Troyes. Okay, and it doesn't matter where it is. I don't have that row or anything, it's just whatever. If I have a second one, I can deliver two, but it's important to note here that I cannot place both in one. I have to place one per trade house, unlike the shipping action where I can put multiple in the same one. Mm, okay. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Yep. Cool, all right. So that's transport via wagon. The only action that we haven't spoken about yet, it's called contribute, or we call it donate, that seems to be what it is. You're donating uh, to the uh, to the building of the cathedrals and the churches. So when you take this action, again, here I would get one brick and then I can donate. Well, you can donate any of the three resources that you wish to that building, one of them. It's important to note, so in this case, I have two brick. I can donate one thing, so it must be brick. So there, and I have to place it in the brick row. So for instance, I go there. Easy enough. Cool. Mm -hmm. Doesn't matter how many you have. This is one. Also, I should point out when taking the building action, it is one of those three actions. You cannot do multiple. It is one action. Okay. So we've already talked about now 90% of the game. Okay. About what things do. So now let's talk about actually activating an action space. So if I'm the first player, I have this marker, on my turn, uh, I have to be able to do at least one of the two adjacent actions. So I said earlier that if you can't do one of them, you get to draw a card. But if, as an example, this was full, and I place a disc out here, I cannot take brick, so I could draw a card for that. And I can take cloth, I would take two cloth in this example. However, if that were full, and this one did not exist yet, I could not place a disc here because I cannot take either of those actions. The exception is if I have a card in my hand that allows me to take one of those two actions, I can then play the card to allow me to, it's basically wasting an action to do so. You probably would not do that. Mm -hmm. but So you must be able to do one of the two actions at a minimum. So you can't just park in a place to get cards, basically. Correct, to get multiple cards, mm -hmm. okay. Um, it, it, or I should say, you just, you can't take no actions, you right. just take cards. Right. Okay. It is permissible, uh, like I said, to do one of the two available actions via card. And so basically, in other words, you cannot place a disc to draw two action cards by not being able to do either action. Cool, I beat that up enough. So, at, when it's my turn, I place my disc, say, here. I can do these in any order that I wish. I can build first or I can donate first. It's entirely up to me. If I use one of my white discs instead, 
I get to do both actions twice in any order. So I could go build, build, donate, donate. I could go build, donate, donate, build, or I could go you know, alternate. Mm -hmm. However I want to, that's fine, okay? So that's the advantage of the white disks. Everybody has two of those to start with. After the active player finishes uh, with all two or the four of their actions, so let's say previously Amanda had gone there, she took her actions. On my turn, I say, you know what, I'm going to go there because I like being able to get all that resources. So boom, I take my actions. So I do them in either order that I wish. Then it activates every other disc that's underneath that. So now Amanda gets to get brick and cloth again. She gets to take both of the actions, okay? In this case, it is permissible for Amanda to draw two cards. If she is full of both of those, then she is allowed because she didn't trigger that. Somebody else triggered it. She's just following essentially. Sense. Okay, cool. However, if any player voluntarily skips in action or partially performs in action, they do not get a card. There's no hand limit on the number of cards either. So in addition to any player's turn, they can play any number of cards from their hand before or after any of their actions. So if I went here, I say maybe I get brick and then I play that card, I'm going to get some more brick and then I play that, I'm going to build with those two bricks mm -hmm. to build to be able to uh, get a trade house out and then I'm going to get a cloth and then I will get another cloth for that. So you can just keep going through cards if you want to. Okay, you cannot discard a card. Oh, I can't do that and draw another card, however. Okay, okay? all right. After all players in the stack have taken their actions, the next player begins their turn by placing one of their discs. So after my turn, we're actually gonna move this, the original first player marker to that player who's next to remember, hey, it was their turn. Or another thing that we usually do is we'll move it off to the side to show, okay, that was the active stack. Okay, I started that, so now we know it's Matt's turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, so either or works, okay? If, now we have those three in that stack. It's Matt's turn, and Matt says, you know what, I really like resources, so I'm going to come here. There are now four discs in that stack. So that is going to, uh, trigger a scoring phase at the end of this stack resolution. So what happens? The bottom, the fourth one, so the bottom one, immediately gets kicked out before Matt takes his actions. We're going to place this up here just as a reminder. Hey, we're going to have a scoring at the end of this stack. Matt would take those two actions. Then yellow, me, would take two actions. And then purple would take her two actions. And in addition, remember, we can play cards when it's our turn to take those actions. Okay. Then, important to stress, the fourth token, whatever one is on the bottom, does not get activated. So I don't get to do that again. Mm -hmm. It is possible that something like this, so let's say it were like this instead of how we had it. In this case, purple gets kicked out. Matt gets to take two actions. I get to take two actions. Then Matt gets to take two more actions. Pretty nice. Yep. Okay. If there is a white disc somewhere in the middle, it just gets skipped. There's no memory in the game. The game doesn't remember whose disc this was, so we, it just gets skipped. So once all of these have been activated, then we're going to trigger the scoring. So what gets scored? So much like a lot of games, we score left to right, top to bottom. So the first here, first five, second five, next five. So this will go on to that and we're going to score whatever these tiles are. These tiles represent the nine actions and the six cities out here. Okay, is um, yeah, so the nine actions and the six cities. So for instance, Hamburg. Sure. We would score Hamburg here and it's just simple majority scoring. Whoever has the most cubes there scores and all, all 15 of these scorings are identical. Three points, two points, one point, first, second, and third. However, there is going to be a number of ties in this game. So what happens in tiebreaker? Well, if tied, we look here to the city council and these works of art here in the Palazzo Vecchio. 
Whoever has the most markers over here wins the tie. These are seats on the council, as are these four little <coughs> works of art. So in this case, if Amanda were tied, she would break the tie because she has one, Matt and I have none, right? Mm -hmm. However, if we, had, we were in another scoring, I now am tied with Amanda and maybe she and I are tied for first. Well, then it goes to who got to that number first. Well, we're tied at one, Amanda got to one first, Amanda wins the yep. tie, okay? okay? So if it's like this, I have two to one, well, I have more seats, mm -hmm. so I win automatically. Or if it were like this, I have two seats, Amanda has one, I would win that tie. That makes sense? Okay. So again, it's three, two, and one for all of these 15 scorings. Uh, yeah, if there are no seats here, then it just goes to works of art. And if still tied, then you add up whatever two places divide mm -hmm. round down, okay? So that's, that's pretty much the entire game except for the game end for scoring. So the game ends one of two ways. Either all of us have placed all of our discs out here pretty simple. If that happens, then we will automatically score every scoring tile that has not already been scored. Okay. Okay. Or if all 15 tiles have been scored, we finish the current round. And that's why it's important to remember who started. Mm -hmm. Because if, if Amanda triggers the 15th scoring, the game ends immediately because that will have completed right. the round. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Um, also, the, uh, there, no extra seats in that case can be gained. If there is a fourth disc here, there's not going to be any bonus scoring because there's all 15 mm -hmm. have already been scored. Just kick it out, move it off to the side, it's out of the game. Okay. Uh, then, at the end of the game, we're going to reveal our secret scoring tile and the one that's here for the three-player game, and we're going to score whatever they are. These secret scoring are all of these, uh, they're the churches here at the city council and the cities out here, okay? Um, these, however, score higher than the normal scoring, whereas these score 3 two, one these, the secret scoring cards, score 5-3-1. Um, and if somebody scores the Palazzo Vecchio, these include for seats in the council mm -hmm. as well, all right? Um, ties are resolved in the exact same way, and then uh, most points wins. And if tied, whoever has the most seats and works of art wins. That's, that's Kali Mala. All right. Okay. All right. Any questions on that? I don't think so. Okay. That then, thing comes to mind anyway immediately. Okay. Then let's go ahead and reset everything. Everybody needs... Oh, there is one more thing that I need to talk about for uh, the beginning of the game. You guys see that there are five cards out here. Everybody starts with a card. Now, I'll be honest, this is the first time I've played with three players, so I need to look. Um, okay, everybody gets one of these, and it starts in reverse player order. So in this case, we'll randomize turn order, if you'll give the discs back and all my yellow pieces. So first player is all that matters. Amanda is first. So in this case, Matt is last, so Matt gets to choose his card. To be honest with you, Matt, cloth and marble and building uh, action are the three most lucrative and the most valuable, so you're going to want to choose one of those, as well as our final scoring card. And technically, you're supposed to uh, take your final scoring card first. So let me reset all of this. So any questions from the peanut gallery while we're selecting that? And also, the order of these does come into play here. Remember, all 15 are going to be scored no matter what. Uh, but let's see. Um, okay, so I'm going to select this card. And actually, here, nobody look at the screen. That one. That's mine. Okay, cool. So those are out of play. Matt, you want to show the camera? Sure. Probably up higher. I'm not looking here, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. And Amanda? All right. I'm just going to point on the board where... Okay. All right. I'm... Cool. So nobody look. Okay. 
Okay. And then we have a secret scoring here, which we don't know what it is for the game. Okay, so these are out of the game. Matt, you get to choose one of the cards first. So just take it into your hand, sir. I'll take the building. Okay, I will take the cloth. And I will take the marble. Okay, so the other two actually get shuffled back in here. <clears throat> All right, cool. Easy enough. All right, so we have the draw pile there. Uh, we'll use this as the discard pile, and Amanda is the start player, so we'll just put that there, so as a reminder for everybody. And then, Amanda, you begin. Here, I'm going to get down, so there you go. it's a little better. Okay. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Let's do... So, here, real quick. So, we have, like I said, those are two resources. That's going to be a lucrative spot. Um... So you have marble here, wood here. Uh, yeah, this actually kind of came out in a tough mm -hmm. configuration, so cool. And what you should be looking at is uh, a few of those coming up. So we know hamburger is going to score first. So you want to maybe get a trade building out, if possible, a trade building, a trade post, a trade, I, I forget the exact term, um, requires two bricks. Just, just saying, maybe. <laughs> Okay. okay. Let's go there. Okay. So Amanda can do these in either order. And I should point out that you can do something that then makes it to where you cannot do the second action so that you can draw a card. That right. is an intentional thing, and that is totally on the up and up. Like fill up one area so that you can. Totally, yeah. If you had three brick already and you have a brick card out of your hand, you could play a four to get a fourth brick. Oh, I can't get brick. Right. Give me oh, a card. Oh, darn. Okay. okay. All right, so the statue. Right. Which, nope, you don't have any marble. Oh, okay. Play a card. That has the marble. There you go. So you're doing that first. So you play that. You get the marble. Marble? You... Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Right there. And then I take this. To do this. And you there. can go to any of the four buildings, correct? I'm going to go there. All right. Now you get a brick. Now I get my brick. Done. Nothing else in a stack. That's pretty easy. Um, for me, yeah, I don't see a reason not to. I'll go ahead and get one cloth to start with. I'll go there, and I will get a brick and a cloth. And I only get one cloth because I don't have those. Right. Done. Matt? I'm going to go here. I'm going to get one wood. Okay. And a card. Is you I cannot. Right, cannot exactly. Yep. Very and nice. And you can immediately play the card if you wish, or any cards out of your hand before. Once you say you're done, then you're done, and that's hmm. that. I am done in this. Okay. So, <laughs> so something I want to point out also to folks is this has one of those to where it's slow, 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 and then it ramps mm -hmm. up to where when these get three stacks in them, it could be scoring, 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 scoring. So it might take a little bit. Mm -hmm. It plays in about an hour, maybe an hour 15. So it might take a little bit, idea. but once it goes, it goes. Exactly. All right, then. Getting, getting a little bit of... Uh, um, Forbidden Stars flashbacks here. Oh, with the stack. With the stack and triggering. I'm oh, gonna that's... put it someplace that somebody else is gonna want to go, but I want to be on the bottom <laughs> so that you get kicked out to have scoring, mm -hmm. so that you have priority. That's true. Or, yeah, that's actually that is pretty. That's true. Yes, any number of cards before or after any of your actions, Daniel. Okay. Hmm. So you can play a card, do an action, play some more cards, do another action, play some more cards if you want. All right, so here Amanda's going to actually get four actions. So just call out what okay. you're doing first. So I'm going to get a brick. Okay, so that one's done. I can't do the statue, so, so I'm going to draw a card. a card. So that first disc is done, okay? Then we go into the second disc. So, so what are you doing? Second disc, I'm going to get a brick. Okay. And draw a card. Okay. And are you going to play any cards? No. Okay. Fortunately. Cool. It didn't work out. All right. Mm -hmm. Um, and can you play them the turn you get them? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. You can Draw play it. it at, yeah. Oh, well, I'm you you asked me when I got mine, so I figured that was the case. But uh, to clarify. Hmm. So what I'm thinking here is if I went here, that would defeat the purpose of getting the brick because I would then 
donate the brick, which is not really what I'm trying to do. I don't like the idea of doing both of these because I don't want to trigger Amanda twice, but you know what? Hey, it's good for the goose. <laughs> so I will go ahead and get one brick and I will get one cloth. And then for the second action down below, I will get one brick and I will get, wait for it, one cloth what? done. Okay. Right. So a couple questions in the chat. Uh, the scoring tiles are randomized as well, yeah, which they are. Yeah, all 15 of mm -hmm. these. See, there's nothing underneath them. So, yep, right. just that's the order they came out. And then Renji wants to know what happens when a white disc gets kicked out. Oh, good fourth. call. I forgot to mention that. Okay, uh, if, a fourth, if a white disc is at the bottom, is that fourth disc. Whoever triggered the scoring kicks that white disc out, takes possession of the white disc, and replaces it with one of theirs for the scoring. Mm -hmm. If they're out of their own color discs. In that case, they would take one of their own color discs uh, from any of the available stacks, replace it with the white one, and then put okay. their color up there. So good catch. I totally overlooked that. Thanks, Renji. Hmm. This is interesting now because I was planning on doing the same thing both of you guys did. <laughs> or you still can. Yeah. I, still, I, I still can. Well, all you're but... doing is feeding me cards. In this case, because I can get one brick, but I can't get the cloth. So I would oh. be getting cards. Well, I was thinking about doing this, I mean, just like on, oh, oh, on, on gotcha. my own. Yeah, you could. But that, uh, that would make people not want to go on top of me there very much. As I do not, take. as I currently do not want to go in either of these places. But again, remember um, that one of them, mm -hmm. after the next one goes, the bottom one get, gets kicked out. And obviously, earlier scoring is, is beneficial right. for advantage for tiebreaker, but it also gets you the, I mean, this is a lucrative spot. There's no doubt. Mm -hmm. There's marble over here, but you can't, uh, you can't ship right now and you can't um, overland it. I think I'm still going to do this. Okay. So you get, but oh, first, yeah, I, will, I will do this and get. Hold on. Bring it up a little bit. So fo or just put it here so folks can see. You get a marble. I'll get a marble. And then I will take this marble and mm -hmm. we'll put it right there. Okay. Then you still get a wood action. Then I get a wood. Okay. And um, now you get both again. Um, I don't have any more marble. I'll take another card. And you could do the wood first or that up to you. And now do you wish to play I will, a card? I will, get an, I will get another wood. Okay. I will play this card. I can't see. I'll play this card. I'll get another wood. And I'll play this card I still can't can't see. <laughs> and build a ship. Okay, so a ship costs two wood. Two wood. And remember, you're only allowed to build one. Lay it down so it has a bigger profile. There we go. Cool. Mm -hmm. Good turn. Well done. Squirrel, you're up. <sighs> okay. First of all, I'm going to go here and get a, a cloth and build. I'm going to build... A warehouse for two bricks. Stanley. Stanley, two bricks. And he's going to go in Hamburg. Now, why Hamburg? Because it scores first. There you go. Okay. Then I am going to play this card, which will allow me to take a little... Deliver. Whatever yep. thingy. And Deliver. it must be cloth. Notice all of these are cloth mm -hmm. to all the cities. It must be cloth. Mm -hmm. And you can only do that once you have a trade building there, which you do. Mm -hmm. so. Deliver that cloth there, and that's okay. Cool. Turn. All right. So we should be turned, so we remember whose current turn it is, but that's fine. Um, so let's see. Uh, somebody had asked, where was it? It was uh, Reynold asked, how long is the game? It, roughly an hour, maybe an hour. It, it's going to be longer because it's a stream, but I would say an hour to an hour 15, so yeah. 60, 75 minutes. It's pretty quick. Okay. Cool. Um, all right, so let's see, for me, I have a ton of resources. I like the idea of building, because uh, I definitely want to get out there with Amanda. Um, so, I definitely want to build, so it gives me three options. I cannot ship yet. Uh... I could get more cloth, which gives me a card, but it also gives Amanda the action. So 
you know what, we're actually going to go ahead. Uh, <laughs> you know what, actually we're going to go there. So I will go ahead and build first. So I uh, build with two bricks, Stanley, and also, yeah, that's a big enough profile, folks can see it. There we go. Um, and then I will ship. I cannot, I have no ships, so I will draw. <gasps> I'll just put that right there. Done. Matt? Right. <clears throat> disc laid is a disc played. <laughs> All right, John. <laughs> Oh, by the way, I don't think we did this. Place your bet, y'all. Who you got? It's before the first scoring, so I think that's still legit. Yep, we'll go here. Get a cloth. Okay. And I will build another ship. Okay. I will and get, then Amanda. I will get a cloth and draw a card. Because you cannot build. Do you wish to do anything with your cards? Yeah. I wish to deliver. And the book. only place you can deliver. Yep. Okay. All right. Pass the first player marker. Or the active player marker, I should mm -hmm. say. So, Amanda, you're up. Uh, oh, hey. Hello. Uh, Degaloos from Taipei. Welcome. Let's go here. I can't ship because I don't have any ships, so can I get a card, please? You may. Thank you. Okay, then I get my marble. Then I'm gonna play the statue and send this marble. A work of up art, here. and you could play it to any of the other cities, remember? I know. Or the other, I'm sorry, the other churches. Um, it, it, Rob says, my, I'm on Sweater Mike. He almost made it. He just got back <laughs> into town. So Sweater Mike is going to make a lot more appearances going forward. Yay! Happy to have him back. Um, but, however, uh, he is not here tonight, obviously. So you're done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Pray for lots of sunshine and no snow, and you'll see Sweater Mike a lot more. Yes, yes exactly, because <laughs> otherwise he will be up skiing. Um, <clears throat> Sorry, Sweater Mike. That Nobody wishes that, really. <laughs> <laughs> so... You know what? I'm going to go ahead and play a white disc out here. So for two marble and two deliveries over land, so uh, do it one at a time. So I will go ahead and make a delivery first over land. I can only deliver <laughs> to Hamburg. And then I will get a marble. Then I will get another marble. And then I will make a delivery over land. Done. The thing. Nope, yep, sorry. Matt? Are you forced to build if you have the resources? No, you can voluntarily not do an action, but if you voluntarily did not do an action, you do not get a card. That's the difference, okay? I was about to ask that myself. Well, uh, Eric's on the ball, apparently. Mm -hmm. way, to, way to mind read Eric. That's a little eerie. Can you guys see everything real clearly? Everything look okay? I know the chat's overhanging a bit on the 14, 15 point, but I figured the chat being a little bigger would be okay. No, oh, geez, I have four bets. Matt has one and you have one. Okay, no pressure. Yeah. Okay, so the game has good media decisions. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> all right. Yeah. So this is Matt's first game. Mm -hmm. I've played this, I think, four or five times now. Played it a couple times at Spiel. Amanda, you played mm -hmm. it... Uh, I've only played it once. No, that's right. You have. You've mm -hmm. been in on yes. a couple of games, kind of seeing how it works, but only one game. Also, I should point out, or I should mention, we're going to have a giveaway at the end of this uh, from one of our sponsors from Game Surplus. Um, it's going to be for a $55 gift certificate uh, at Game Surplus. So if you guys want to hang around for that, we'll announce that, um, which you got to do later on. Hashtag teaser. Okay. So, 
So Morton, they say, well, Matt is deep in the tank here. The significance of the white discs is you get to do double, you get to do each action twice instead of just once. Yes, deliveries like are cloth Dan. only. Yep. Yeah, it's always cloth. That's why building the second workshops for cloth helps because whenever you get cloth, you get one per workshop. Yep. Oh. Stop shaking your head at me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm judging. Yeah. Mm -hmm, uh -huh. mm -hmm. No, it's <laughs> it's what it start what the stream started at for the. You future. know what? I bet you Carmen be on board with that. If I'm we sure make, you would. If we make it to, uh, actually, if you one patron would be a ten cent, so it'd be fifty five ten yes. at that case. So sorry about so, that. The decimal points right there. There you go. Yeah. So you want to make it to 56, we need 10 more patrons. Let's yes. do it. Come Let's on. do it. Let's go. It is the last 36 hours of the patron drive. Let's do it. Speaking of which, that's new. You guys see it at the bottom of the screen? Do you guys like that? That it shows what color everybody is and everything? I made a decision. Holy cow. Stop the press. Wait. All right. Okay. So... Here, so actually here, I like being able to do this. So we got this. So Matt, you get two. I, I will get a cloth. Okay. Cannot build. We'll take a card. Okay. Then you do a second set for the second disc. Can I play a card in between? Mm -hmm. Yes, Harry. you can. Harry. I won't. I won't. But just you yes, can. you you before or after any action right, that I you take of your action. Get another cloth. And take another card. Okay. Do you wish to play any cards? And I will play this one just for a wood. And also, Eric says, so it plays in two hours with Matt. <laughs> <laughs> That's just mean. And now Amanda takes her action. Okay, so I get... <laughs> He's just messing. I get... <laughs> I get a cloth, and I can't no, build. No, the video didn't freeze. <laughs> I can't build, so get a card, please. It's just an okay. icy stare is all. I didn't say it. Icy stare with ice blue eyes. It was really scary. All right. Uh, I, I just learned it from Dane as well. Okay. <laughs> I'm done. All right. So that's here. So that's Matt's action. So pass the active player to Amanda. Huh. Okay. Okay, cool. So far, the first two people have said, yeah, they like the reminder. So, cool. I'm good. I'm going to go here. I'm going to get a wood and deliver my cloth to Hamburg. <sighs> there you go. Okay. Um... Yeah, I'm okay with this, actually. I will go ahead and take the exact same action that Amanda just took. I will get one wood and deliver over land to the one place I can. And now Amanda goes. Um, I cannot deliver, so can I have a card, please? Oh, breaks my heart. Yeah, I know it does. And then she gets a wood, and Matt, you're up. Quick turns, you guys, well, normally. Is it possible to run out of action discs? Um, we all have the same amount. You're always using an action disc, Tim. So if all players run out of action discs, the game ends, and then we finish all the scoring tiles that have not been scored. All right. I'm going to go here. Will you guys quit? Yellow. Well, get... nobody, nobody's even gone on top of me. Yet, so. I'll get... You did. I know, I, I did <laughs> on myself twice. <clears throat> um, I got that, and I will ship. I and can ship two things. Yep, and you do not have to, but you may. I, I, I will. I, I reckon so. So you look at what cities are coming yeah, up. We'll London's go, first. We'll go London. Start in London. And, yeah, sure, we'll throw one down there, too. Okay. Cool. Amanda, you're up. Marble and ship. I cannot ship, so can I please get a card? And get a marble. And pass the active player marker. Amanda, you're up. So can I, like, spend eight 
victory points and flush my cards like in Wildcatters or anything like that? Or you what? Can I like flush my, no. my cards with eight points? Draw better. But shuffle better. Cut better. So we have three discs here, two, 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 one, one. We're trying to stagger them, but it might, still might be a little hard to see from the overhead there. I, I approve of this. Okay, I cannot ship, so can have a card, please. And do you wish to build? Shuffle better. Yes. <laughs> For the record, not shuffle, just saying. I don't care. <laughs> three times when we don't miss that. <laughs> Um, so we're still mostly you shuffle. Going to <laughs> gonna build a another warehouse. Uh, I'm looking to see if it works, Rob. Matt says it does. I believe him. What did he send us? Yeah, he right? said test only. So uh, it worked the la yesterday. It did. I, did. I, I I saw it. Okay. You're done. All right. So then ship and build. Well, first and foremost, I will build. I will build a one wood and one brick, which means I get another. Uh, workshop so that works out really really well and then I cannot ship I have no ships I will draw a card and I will go ahead and play that and go ahead and get on the board there so that is now booked up and then I will go ahead and get cloth and oh hey look at that I get two cloth one there and one there because I now have two workshops so that's done. My turn. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And all right. So I have this cloth. I have no ships. I. I do not want to do that yet because Amanda. Um. You know what? Oh, that's kind of tempting. So what I'm considering is playing a white on top of that, but I don't think I need to. I'll just play one of mine. So that's a cloth and a brick. So I'm going to need some of these. All right, so I get a brick, and I get two cloth because I have two workshops for cloth. So that's the first disc. The second disc gets me a cloth. I'm sorry, gets me a brick and two cloth. The third disc gets me a brick and... Like I explained in the example, this one's full, but that one is not. So I partially did that action. I do not get a card for that. That's all three of my actions. Done. Um, Rob said that the email address bounced back, so I'm going to take my phone. No. And I'm going to send it to him, what it actually is, so that he can still sure. test. Because I don't want to tell. I don't yeah. want to say on the thing. All right. So are you guys able to follow along? Does it... Uh... Does it make sense so far? Obviously, we haven't done any of the scorings, but the actual mechanics of everything else working. I do know that ADC Blackfire had this for sale. It was either 40 or 45 euros uh, at Essen. Um, I don't know if they have it on their website. I would, I would recommend checking that out as well. Um, I know that uh, Game Surplus is trying to get it. Oh, and uh, what Morton asked about the, uh, the theme, and it actually, yeah, it's about the, the uh, guild, mm -hmm. in, in, the cloth guild in Florence. And that's why everything bases out of Florence and goes everywhere right. else. Yeah. Went here. I'm going to get a brick. Oh. I'm going to go ahead and donate to here. Okay. So marble. Okay. Cool. And I'm going to play the build action. You can't see. There. And I will build this. Cool. And that was here. So mm -hmm. Amanda, pass that. Yeah, um, it, to be honest with you, I've never felt that this game didn't have enough turns. I felt mm -hmm. like it's the perfect length for what it is. 
we're going to be doing a full review of this next Thursday as well, y'all. Yep, this is uh, this is from Essen. Um, we actually just took a look at it just before Gen Con. Hey, it worked. Yay. It worked. I mean, use the right email. There we go. Good. Yeah, yeah, right. There you go. Okay, so oh, wow. I'm okay. gonna do this a lot. So I'm gonna get three bricks, right? You get one brick. One brick. I can donate. Yep. This I'm gonna put it here. Yes. That's one. That's one, one disc. Second disc. Another uh, brick. And I can't do that. Thank you. Okay. Third disc. Another brick. Do you wish to play any cards? I do not. Okay. All right. So I'm up. Um, Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. I'll go ahead and come over here, and I will get uh, a ship, or to deliver, sorry, and marble. So I will go ahead and do the marble first, then I can deliver. So I could, in theory, be able to deliver two. I only have one, so I can deliver one. That's it. So I have seven cards. It's the same, too. Draw better. Um, so the white disc here does not have... Uh, an owner, so we skip it. That's it. So Matt, you're up. This is the longest I've ever seen. Uh, no scoring so far. This is crazy. So if anybody goes onto either of those, mm -hmm. a scoring triggers, which there's um, going to be 15 of them. I'm highly considering it. <clears throat> ah, it's okay. Ah, it's okay, okay I gotcha. Okay, no, no worries. Oh, hey. So I don't know what that means because we didn't get one. Did you change the color back to something else, Rob? Yeah, when it's when it's good, it goes back green. Oh, okay. Oh, it does. Okay. Yeah. Red, red is bad. Oh, it blink. Blinks. Remember, it blinks. Oh, it blinks right. for a new patron. There that's we go. right. So we have a light up there now that red means, hey, we're screwing something up. Look at chat. And a blinking means, hey, we got a new patron. We can celebrate. So this that's kind of cool. This gives me a lot. This triggers scoring that I'm not going to get, but it also... It gives you one of each. That's Okay. All right. So here we go. So there are now four discs here. The bottom one gets kicked out. So we're going to put it up here as a reminder. Fabio is the one who recommended that. Yes. So you get two of each uh, action. So I will get, well, one brick to start with. Correct. Then two cloth. Because you have two so workshops. Two yep. workshops. Then one brick and two cloth. Okay, so that's both your actions. Then for me, I get two cloth, which, oh, I can't. I only get one cloth. And then I get one brick. So that's the second disc there. And then the bottom disc, I cannot get cloth. I draw a card. And again, I'm allowed to take a double card here mm -hmm. because I did not trigger this because I have no room for bricks. So there. Hey, Marcella. And I will go ahead and play that to get a wood. And done. So now that is the end of your turn there. So before we pass this over to Amanda, we have to actually trigger the scoring. So this goes on to Hamburg. So we're going to score Hamburg based on majority. Well, I have more. So I get three points for yellow and two for purple. And you must be present to score. So that's it. That's the end of scoring. So now it's Amanda's turn. The next one we're going to score is majority of all the overland locations. And that's it. Okay. <sighs> okay. You know, this is frustrating. Okay. Oh, hey. All right. Yeah. You mentioned Marcella. Yeah. Um, you want to mention the, the game? They, actually, uh, Marcella, feel free. Because I can't remember the pronunciation, I, to be honest with you. Tukusumi? Takasumi? Uh, Sukuyumi? Sukuyumi? Sukuyami. Oh, uh, help me out. Sounds delicious. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's got a really kind of scary lady that walked around Essen. Yeah, or the, the cosplay yeah. was pretty good. Okay. Um, crap. I never liked any of you people anyway. I don't understand why it was stupid. You should try whining. 
I don't. You wear do it well. I just did. I know. I'm saying you do it well. Oh, hey. Oh, it's, it's it worked. Licking. It worked. Yeah. Derek. Thank Welcome. You, Derek. We got a new patron. Yay. That's pretty cool. It works. Thank you. Sukiyumi. Sukiyumi, so, that's Yeah, it. that's it. So if you guys are interested in area control games, um, we got a chance to check it out while we were at Essen. Um, I think uh, Marcelo said there were like 34, 35 hours left in the Kickstarter. So take a look at it. Uh, Sukiyumi, just look in chat right now. Uh, it's T S U K U Y U M I. We're looking forward to getting a copy. I like area control games. Makes sense, right? Asymmetric uh, for factions and everything. It, and it looks really cool. So. All right, I'm going to go here. All right. And get double actions. I get a marble. And then you may donate. Donate. I'm going to donate brick right here. Then get another marble. 33 hours. All right, there you go. And donate another brick. Okay, cool. And done? Um, I don't know yet, hang on. Yes. All right, so for my turn, noob, not yet. Uh. Yes, I'm sitting safely, and more bruises are just appearing. <laughs> you look at her, like, angry, yeah. and she gets a bruise. It's ridiculous. I'm glad that Amanda loves me and cares, because <laughs> if she ever went to the cops and said I abuse her, I would have, I, you just yeah. have random bruises. Because I, yeah, I fall, I fall. Dana's Dan the same way. Dana will just be standing there, and then just. <laughs> <laughs> that's why, Freak gravity that's why we like each other so much. <laughs> uh, I really would like to build some stuff. I do not have enough wood. Um, Seems like a personal problem. Hey, okay. check yourself. So, Margaret. Hey, look at my scoring. Okay, right. Um, okay, so building is here and donate. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's do that. So, I will go. Well, oh, actually, wait. Or build and ship. Nope. We're going to build and donate. So I'm going to go ahead and build another trade house. So that's two brick. And uh, it's closer to me. We'll go with trois. And then donate. And I will go ahead and donate a marble. And we'll go ahead and donate that puppy into, uh, what is it, San Miniato? Sure. Yeah. Miniato, I Miniato. think so. Yeah, go with that. Okay, cool. Done. Matt, you're up. Marcella said we should, me, her, and Dana should join, make a band called the Bruised Klutzes. <laughs> right, seriously, right? Just one more turn. I, I, I remember that from Civ days, right, Kenny? Come on, it's Friday, people. Well, they haven't eaten yet. I mean, I don't want them mm. angry. Okay, yeah, then eat by all means. I'll go there. Okay, so go for it. I will ship with my two ships. Yep. I'll put one there and one there. I will get a marble. Okay, and then you get... And then I will ship with my two ships. Yep. That was and terrible, Daniel. And I will get a marble. But now that song's stuck right. in my head. Thank and you. And Amanda, you're up for your okay. two actions. I cannot ship, so I draw a card, please. It'll be the same one that's been I done. know. <laughs> it actually wasn't. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then marble. Um, yeah. And pass the active player marker. Uh, are the action discs tied up in scoring until the next row? No, they're tied up permanently. Like, these are the number of actions. Like, I have seven actions. I'm sorry, I have six actions left. That's it. So these will all, it, once it's out here, it's it's done. It's off the board. And when these, all, But there are also council seats for tiebreaker. So if you look right now, uh, I have two, Amanda has two, and Matt has one for tiebreakers. Okay.
Okay. Like I said, it's it's really a simple game. It's just this is what's really clever in the way they're mm -hmm. taking out for the scoring. I'm just really infatuated with this. I support this. Okay. Um, I'm going, I can't ship. Get a card, please. And then, do you wish to build or play I any do. cards? I wish to build Okay. a boat. No, so I can't build a boat yet. You need two wood. This game! Okay. Then I... You ain't got no wood in a whole pile. <laughs> okay, so I can, but I can build another warehouse, so let's just do that. Okay. Okay. So now then for my second, below that. Yep. I get... For the shipping. I'm going to play that. I get three. Yep, cloth. three cloth. And build. You cannot build. Correct. Hmm. What's the matter? This is for your second set of actions, right? Yeah. So yeah, you're good to go. Never mind. Okay. For me, um, I cannot ship, so I will go ahead and draw a card. Um, and then for building, I. You know what? I will go ahead and build and get to spend two bricks and go ahead and get my last trade house out. Might as well. Uh, done. So that was Amanda's action. So I'm up now. Uh, yeah, might as well. I'll go ahead and play both those for a marble and a brick to start with. There and there. And I really need chips, which means I need wood. I wish wood and building yeah. were right next to each other. Um, but you, you got some marble. You should probably make some of these. I, not I, that I have anything invested no, in you not, doing not so. Not at all. But actually... You're going to get wood and donate. Yeah. No, actually, we're going to go there. Mm. So I'm going to go ahead and get a wood there. And then deliver over land. I have three houses now. Um, so... Three of these guys has to go to one each. And then for the second stack, I will do it again. I will get a wood. And then I will get three. Get out there. And then Amanda, same actions. All right, I will get a wood and... I can only send one because I only have one warehouse, Correct. so that goes there. It has nothing to do with the number right. of that, whereas it's ships and buildings right. is what that dictates. So that's it. So Matt, you're up. Uh, Daniel, I never played Ulm yet, so can't speak to it. No, the fabric can come off in any order. They don't have to come off left or right. It's just I'm left-handed, so I'm going left or right. That's all. Y'all don't help me, so I'll help me. <laughs> get a right. wood. So, get a wood. Make, make a statue thingy. Yep, art. Yeah. Make some art. Get a wood. Make another statue thingy. Okay, and third action. Get a wood. And draw a card. Draw a card. <laughs> do you wish to do it? No. Okay. Pass. Squirrel, you're up. All right. I'm going to do it. I don't want to, but I'm doing it anyway. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go here, but since it's me, I'll just... So, yeah, the bottom one gets kicked out, and you get three actions. So let's do... Okay, brick. No need. Brick. Culture. Well, it's called something different every time. It's fine. Brick. Um, bust. There you go. Yeah, two over here. Okay. All right. So that's that. Now we go into the scoring. So the scoring then goes here. It's all the overland spots for majority. So it's here, here, and here. I have a total of six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Amanda has four. Matt has none. So it's three, two, one. Yellow gets three. 
two for purple. All right, cool. So that's that scoring. Now this passes. And... So the goal of the game is to get points, right? You, you know, it's funny. I actually trailed most of the game. Mm -hmm. you're, you're dominating shipping yeah, right now. That was, so, yeah, so we're both that. going that way. So That's exactly what you're do. supposed to do. Um, later on next week, we're talking about live streaming this at four or mm -hmm. five players. Um, yep, that, 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 that worked, works. Rob. That was quick. Um, so, yeah, we're going to play this so you guys can see it at different player counts as well. Uh, I have noticed, though, if you do go your own way, you don't get a lot of help. Well. There's that. Unless you want to help me. Actually, you're about to get helped. I'm going to actually play that there, which kicks out the fourth one, which is Amanda's. So there's going to be another scoring. And now I'll take cloth. So I get one cloth in each. And then I can build. And I will go ahead and build a ship using that. Uh, then I get to do it a second time because it's yellow. So I will go ahead and get cloth. And then I can build, you know what? Let me back that up real quick. Before I do that, I will actually build first. I will build these two to be able to build my third store space. And now I'll get cloth, which gives me three cloth. Done. So now Matt gets to take two actions. Then we go into the scoring. I will build first. All right, Renji, thanks for joining and us. We I will appreciate build it. this first. Okay. That makes the most sense. Yep. Bye, Daniel. All right, take care, and then Daniel. Then I will, I will get my three cloth. Yep. And that is important also when you get cloth, it mm -hmm. must go one, one, one. Okay, so. And then I will build again. I will build my last actually, no. ship. Oh, what, whether they have to come off left or yeah, right? Yeah, now, now I actually want to check that just to make sure. It would make sense that it would. But, I don't know. All right, so that's done. So we go into the scoring. So Matt, if you'll throw it up, the scoring disc. So we're going to uh, score all the artwork. So that's the bottom row. So it looks like Amanda has six. Matt has three. I have one. So Amanda gets three. Matt gets two. Three. I get one. Yeah, here, so folks can see. There we go. Cool. Uh, so that was actually my turn. So now it's Matt's. It does not say that you must take them left or right or evenly or anything like that so you can spend your cloth in any way, or at least per the rule book, okay? All right, take care, Marcella. Thanks for stopping by. Get some sleep. I think she's telling them goodnight, the other guys. Oh, okay. Maybe, I don't know. Or, or, or not, okay. <laughs> it's late there, so it could happen. True. So, while well, Matt tanks, mm -hmm. stack of three, 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 one, 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 two. So now you can see all of a sudden how all these scorings are going to trigger quickly, one after another. So what are you thinking, Matt? I'm just going to do it, just to tell you. Okay. All right, so that's... A brick. And then donate. And then donate. And then, and then do it again. A brick. And then donate. Cool. Yeah, I should probably spread this out a little bit. Maybe some other people are taking over on other stuff. So. All right. Pass the first player marker. Yeah. Or the active player. Squirrel. Marcella says, hey, it's late, but I stayed up for this, and now I want to play it. <laughs> yeah, I was very pleasantly uh, 
uh, not surprised, but it just I I was very happy when I played this the first time mm -hmm. at Gen Con. Actually, it was me, Uli, Chris, and Adrian from Maha Game Guys at Gen Con with Clay watching. Mm -hmm. Um, I was just fascinated by this, and now I'm, like I said, five plays in, I think. Still pretty pretty That's happy really with this. really cool. All right. Um. And Uli told me a story behind the scenes that uh, uh, as soon as he saw this, the next day, he's one of the judges for the Hippodice competition, the next day he reached out to Fabio to sign this game on behalf of ADC Blackfire. Okay, I'm going to build... Um, another warehouse. Okay. Uh, Tony says, can you activate scoring on a three stack twice? Um, you can only place one disc each action. So, like, if I placed here to trigger that, and then Matt placed there to trigger that, and then Amanda placed there to trigger... Absolutely, that can happen. But obviously, you're only placing one disc at a time. All right, I'm going to go here. Okay, so that gets kicked out. All right, I'm going to get one wood. Then uh, take these, deliver over land. Over yep. land. And they must go one each mm -hmm. to every warehouse. Then from my next, I'm going to get a wood, and I have no more cloth. Wow. And you wish to do anything else before I take my actions? So that is here. And I have two actions down below. Um, I approve of this score. Yeah, I'll get a, get a brick. Brick, okay. Anything else? I don't think so. No, that's it. Okay, so now I get two actions of each. So I will get a wood first, and then I will deliver over land. So I will go one... So, you know, it's not said, but I, I felt like we had to take one of each, but it's not actually called out in the rules. So, one to each warehouse, storehouse. Right. Hamburg is not full. Okay, so, yep, Hamburg is booked up. Then, I didn't want to go there anyway. <laughs> I will get wood. Well, it's already scored. So, unless mm -hmm. somebody has a, the secret card, mm -hmm. it's done for the game. Um, so, I got my wood, and then I will... Deliver. I can only deliver two because that one's full. So we will go there and have a bit of an earthquake. There we go. So that stack is now done. And then we do the scoring in London. We look at London. Three points for Matt. Or, yeah, for Matt. There we go. Boom. Done. All right. And now it's my turn. Um... That is awfully tempting. What I'm thinking is to go here and to get three actions, or actually I would only get two actions of each, but still. Um, I do like the idea, you know what? I want to build. Yeah, I'll go there. So I will go here, kick Matt out. I approve of this as well. Okay, so now I get cloth. So I will go ahead and get three cloth, one for each of my storehouses. And then I will build, and I'm going to go ahead and build a ship with two wood. And done. And Matt, you get your action, sir. Because the white disc, remember, doesn't do anything, y'all. One there. One there. One there. And I can't build anything three times. Why three? Oh, not three yeah. times. One, 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 one time. time. The one time. Okay. I did that three times and it screwed No me. worries. All right, so you're done. Then we score, what is that, San Maria? Del Fiore. Okay, what Amanda said. So every di or every cube that's in there, so obviously Matt has first, so he, t he scores three. Amanda scores two. And uh, thanks for playing me. All right, next. Matt, you're up. So like I said, you see how it's starting to accelerate now yep. to where score, 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 mm -hmm. score. Uh, 
Marcella says, could you indulge us a bit on the fiction? Or it's not, well, the, the history of it, while, while Matt thinks. Here it says, the, uh, the Arte di Calimala, the guild of cloth finishers and merchants in foreign cloth, was one of the greater guilds of Florence, who aggregated to themselves the civic power of the Republic of Florence during the late Middle Ages. The woolen cloth trade was the engine that drove the city's e economy, and the members of the Kalimala were the elite of Florence. Mm. Yeah. Oh, you're still thinking. Okay. <laughs> throughout its long don't, please history... Please don't stop. Please continue. Uh, I'm so enthralled with what you're doing. Right. Throughout the long history, the Arte di Kalimala supervised the execution of artistic and architectural works. Most Florentine guilds... Florence... <clears throat> performed such activities, but the uh, Kalimala distinguished itself from the other guilds through the number of prestige, uh, I'm sorry, through the number and prestige of the projects and the sites administered, including the construction and decoration of some of the major churches of the city. So there you go. Cool. Wow. Just go on there. Four actions. Okay, go for it. Yep. So you get two first. So, so a brick. Donate brick. Okay. So that was one. And then a the brick. second one. Donate brick. <laughs> and then a third one. A brick. Donate brick. And the fourth one. Oh, actually, no. no donate, false donate. start. Okay. I'm, I'm looking at majorities now. And a brick. And donate brick. Okay, so this stack is done past the active player marker. JJ says, looks like I'm going to have to add this to the ever-growing wish list. Sorry. Not sorry. It's a good game. really is. Uh, what is the brick or wood or marble scoring? Is it brick in your warehouse or on the board? It's the majorities in the three churches up here. That's what I was kind of hoping. Yep. Okay. Uh Okay, so I can play cards before I do anything, right? Before or after any, taking... Any time. Okay. So I'm going to donate brick. Donate brick. Wasn't she whining about the, the cards that she drew? Mm -hmm. just, just oh, I was wholeheartedly whining. Okay, Absolutely. Just, just curious. Okay, all right. Um, just, just curious. You know who has two thumbs and eight score brick? This guy. Oof. As I said, not scoring brick. Okay. So get a brick, donate. Get a brick. It doesn't have to be donate. a brick, though. Okay. okay. And Matt. Uh, hang on a second. Please. I'll be doing more stuff. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to donate wood. Okay. How much wood would Amanda donate if Amanda could donate wood? One. Okay. Any other cards? No. You are not allowed to whine anymore about that. That was horrible. Are, are I can whine as much as I want. Yes, not? I'm back. Okay, Matt, take your action. Brick and donate. Brick. Donate. Okay, cool. So that stack's done. We go into the scoring. Brick. So what do we got there? You guys, I'm sure, have been counting. Three, it looks four, like five. seven I for have Matt. Five. Seven. seven to five. So it's going to be three for Matt, two for Amanda. One more. One more. And two for Amanda. And thank you for playing Edward. And my turn. Well, uh, I have ships now. Two of them. We do, and we do have Lisbon about to score, so let's look at shipping. So shipping is there. Wow, that stinks for me. Well, actually, it's not so bad. I'd rather give Amanda cards than allow Matt to ship all of that. So I will actually go there. Kicks that out. All right, so I will build first. I cannot. I will... Play that and go and get three cloth, as you do. And then shipping, I will ship two of them. And these can go to anywhere. 
That'll work. Oh, anywhere of the three ship ones. And since we're about to score Lisbon, that makes the most sense. So now Amanda takes her actions. So it doesn't have to, like this, you have to go boop, boop, boop. Whereas these, you, you can, however you want to, it's just based on the number of ships, and you can put them in any of the three between Barcelona, Lisbon, and London. All right. Okay. I cannot, I cannot ship, so let me get a card, please. Okay. And build. I'm going to get three cloth. Exactly, Kenny. All right, I cannot ship no. or build. Cannot build. All right, then you get to do each again. So mm -hmm. which do you wish to not do first? I wish to not ship first. Okay, so here's your not shipping card. Do you wish to do anything or, or here you go. There we go. Okay, so that stack is now done. We now score Lisbon, and this potentially is really, really important. So here's our first tie. So Matt and I are tied 2-2. Two, two. So then we go to the city council. I have one, two, three seats. Okay. Matt has one, two, three seats. So who wins? Who got to that number first? Matt's third one is here. We're not counting that. So third or his last one was there. It's before me. Therefore, Matt wins the tiebreaker. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, so Matt gets three. I get two. Amanda, thank you for playing. Cool. And Matt, your turn. So now that you guys are seeing the scoring and the actions and how everything's working, you guys able to follow along pretty easily? Mm -hmm. uh, making sense at home, too? Interesting that no one has gone there. The entire game. Mm -hmm. So if you notice, Matt has three actions left, Amanda and I have two each. So that means the game will end by us triggering by all the actions, which means all of these are still going mm -hmm. to score. Remember that. Appreciate that, Rob. Thanks. That is. Edward. Yeah, yeah, Edward, John. And, uh, yeah, first in your heart, though, hello. Game's not over yet. Plus, we have the final scoring. And remember, these are 5, 3, and 1, and not 3. Uh, uh, 3, 2, and 1. 3, 2, and 1. And, oh, look at that. We got another patron. This one uh, didn't blink. It was uh, It's through the store. Oh, so an annual patron. Yeah. Uh, so that won't. So. Yeah, don't let this fool you. I'll still be second. <laughs> For sure. All right. Do I, do I just clear clear those out? You're behind right now, so he's looking. No, just, I don't. Good. Well, I just know that's the next one to score. Mm. Oh, okay. So okay, so purple gets kicked out, and three actions for Matt. All right. So marble and ship. I will marble, and I will ship three. Keep in mind, Lisbon's already scored it unless you think one of the, the hidden scoring. So just all as right. a reminder. Oh, one more. The shipping also will count all those. Majority. But, yeah, that's what yeah. I thought. That's but what it's I still, it doesn't matter whether it's in Barcelona or Lisbon. It's still right. shipped. It's just, it's yeah. still, it's just shipped. Right. All, all Correct. Over. Yes. I think I got that. I think I'm, think I'm going to be good after that. It, it looks I, I like it. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, then. One more. One, two. I don't know the answer to that, yeah. Kenny. Spielworks does, but that's not ABC, so yeah. I don't know. I got you. Because, I mean, King's Will's been out for a while. Kraftwagen's been out for a while. Yep. Yeah, yeah. One more, one more. I'm just going to... No, I don't want to move that down there. I want to put one there. Then... There you go. I'm just clearing out the warehouses. Moving, moving product out the door. Yep, there you go. Cool. All right. So that was here. Now we have a scoring, which is going to go into Trois. That's going to be three for yellow and two for purple. Three for yellow, two for purple. This one. 
Yep. All right, cool. And pass the active player. <laughs> That's pretty funny, Tony. If anybody does order from ADC Blackfire though direct, appreciate if you mention where you saw this. Mm -hmm. It would it would definitely help y'all. Okay, so I want to try to get as much wood as I can to try to donate it. I would recommend here. Of course you would. Um, but you don't need to, actually. Well, that's true. Because oh, you're already yeah, winning wood. that's true. So then I might want to force that scoring, since currently I am winning wood. Make sure that, that gets done while I still am. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go... I'm going to go here, but it would just go here. Okay. Okay, so, brick so let me get and a brick, a card. And if you run out of cards because Amanda just keeps drawing them, then you just shuffle the discards while she winds. Okay. Okay. Brick. Uh-huh. Marble. And donate a statue. Okay, so that's two sets. Third set. Okay. Brick. I don't have a brick. Done? That's it. All right, so we're going to score wood. And Amanda's the only one that's donated wood at the top row up there, so three points for purple, Matt. All right, pass the active player marker. And my penultimate action... Hmm. Since Amanda has no ships, I pretty much have those locked up. However, I do like the idea of being able to ship because if somebody has Barcelona or London as a as a uh, goal card, I would then get second place. So shipping makes makes some sense to me. Hmm. Um, Interesting. Didn't think about something, but I'll tell you later. Okay. So I, I believe you. Right All right. So, you know what? Uh, I currently have three. Amanda's well in the lead in the city council. And Matt's tied, so I'm actually... Uh, yeah, I might as well give it to Amanda. I, yeah, and I'll get cards out of it. So, that kicks out. So, I will build first. I cannot build. So, I will draw a card. I'll go ahead and play it, get a wood. Then I will ship. I have two ships, so I will take those two. Throw one in Barcelona, throw one in London. Then for my second set of actions, I will build first. I'll go ahead and get a brick. Then I will ship one and two, and I will go ahead and put you know what, just in case, I'll do that, and I'll go another one in Barcelona. Done. Amanda. Okay. I build or am ship. going to build a warehouse. Okay. Um, I cannot ship. Card, please. You going to play any cards? Yes. I get a wood. Any other cards? No. Okay. So then we... Score shipping. Well, that's going to be Matt first, me second. Between these three, that's pretty obvious. So three for Matt, two for yellow. And that's done. So Matt, you're up. Penultimate action for Matt. Oh, okay, interesting. I did not... I guess that makes sense, because the EDC Blackfire actually is a European distributor. Well, yeah, but so. I mean, but they did have a booth, you know, at Aston. Yeah, that, that's what right. I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, they're a distributor, so that makes sense, what John said. So, okay. Hmm. So what are you thinking, Matt? A whole plethora of things. Hefe? Mm-hmm. 
Well, I see this is the next thing to score. Which is this guy there. here. Okay. So Amanda's I'm tied in the lead with, right I'm now. I'm tied. Well, I'm, yeah. Amanda's in the lead right now. If I can get one in there, I'm tied with Amanda, but. She's going to win because she has three, six, eight versus I was trying to see three. if there's any way I can get two in there. Okay. That makes sense. Um, um, if you had a white one, you yeah. could do a double donate, but you don't. I do not. And even if I go there, that's going to kick out, and I won't even get that one. And Correct. then she'll get one. Yeah, and, and it defeats the purpose. Well, it'd, it'd be a brick, so they wouldn't get it in anyhow. I mean... But she could donate something. There or there. Yes, they did sell at Essen. And if there was one more spot open here, it wouldn't be a problem. i go there. i got plenty of this. I make right. art, but yeah, I think the you're... art is full. Well, the other thing to keep in mind is if you don't trigger a scoring, you don't trigger a scoring. Now, it would be mm -hmm. behoove Amanda to do so. So odds are you're probably taking second no matter what in that. Yeah, probably so. And yeah, they so sold, moving on. They sold, uh, I, I was told, uh, five, 600 copies or so in Essen. Um, I don't know what size the print run was. I, uh, just because it's it's run by Uli, the, the board game side of things, I don't know that it's the same as Spielworks, which is his other company, so I don't know that. So, yeah, I don't want to speculate how many. All right, I'm going to go here anyway. All right, so it kicks one out, the bottom one there, so you get three actions of each. All right, so I'm going to make art. Okay. I'm taking second here, looks like anyway. So I'll go over here. Okay, then get a wood. Then that's one action. Okay. We will make another art here. Okay, get a wood. Get another wood. And now your third disc. This doesn't happen nearly as much the, mm -hmm. the same mm -hmm. one person dominating in a four and five player no, game. It doesn't. That's why that's why we want to play it at a different player count for y'all. And, yeah, see, this is already scored, so that's not really a big deal. It's only these. And... Don't forget with possibly the end-game scoring yeah. ones. It's got to just to, you know, block a spot for someone else. <laughs> okay, so there. So, and it gives us a, a chance to go over this again. So mm -hmm. they're tied 3-3 three, three, because we're scoring this church. Then we go to majority in the city council. Obviously, you see more purple up there, so Amanda's going to score three. Red's going to score two, and I'll mooch my one point, though, because I have a cube there. So, cool. Pass the active player marker, and now we are in the final round. Hey, how's it going, Marcel? Okay. First thing I'm going to do is um, travel over land. Yep. I'm going to deliver two cloths to each of my... And the reason you can't deliver the third is because Hamburg is full of burgers. Correct. Terrible. Then I'm going to build my first ship. Oh, hey, welcome to the game. Thanks. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to ship this to Barcelona. Okay, now I'm going to start my turn. And before anyone asks, anything that's left on your player board at the end is worth zero. At all. Merely a tool. Okay. I'm going to go here. Whoops. Here. Get um, a marble. And I choose to not donate so I don't get a card. Okay, so you could donate brick or wood or marble and you right. choose not to. Okay. So I'm going to put... Oh, wait. No, I'm not. I am going to donate marble. Right there. Okay. You playing any other cards? I am not. Alright, cool. Uh, Alright, so for my final action, so let's see... Uh, all these are going to score no matter what. So I'm already first there, second there. Santa Croce is the far one, correct? Yes. 
So I probably want to get into Santa Croce and I have a marble. So there's that. Yeah, I think looking at donating. So something here. So I could build. That seems a bit wasteful. Um, huh. Wow. Those suck right around there if you're not going to build. Okay. Yeah. That seems so wasted, but we'll go ahead and go there. Yeah, I'm cool with that. So I will uh, go ahead. I elect to not build, so I get nothing. Then I will donate, and I will go ahead and donate a marble, Santa Croce. And then for my second one, I elect to not build, and I will donate a marble to Santa Croce and Fini and Matt last action of the game I think you was just going by your name okay I <laughs> it between it's Belgium that's what was messing me up I apologize sorry about that they speak French in Belgium Doesn't don't they give you anything that you can use to do anything so over here Okay, kick out the bottom one. All right, so Matt, build in cloth, sir. I will cloth first. Okay. Then I will build. I won't. Can I take, mind if I, mind if I mulligan that? Sure. Go ahead. I got my... It's your uh, first game. We'll allow it one time. I got my... Go. Uh, these and those yep. mixed. Hey, I haven't, I've not built any of those yet. Forgive right. me. Um, well, outside of that, I hope you enjoyed the uh, the spiel hall video, though, Marcel. Second place in that. Lock down that. Screw that. Okay. I'll go there. I'll get one. I'll donate it. Amanda, marble and donate? Yep. It doesn't have to be marble, though. I know. And that's it. Okay, so that triggers the end of the game. So now we go into final scoring. So nobody gets more seats. Here? Okay. Are done. you done? I'm done. Okay. Let me try this again. So now we go into final scoring now that everyone is done cheating. So we score Bruges first since we finished because we are all out of discs. Oh, Matt's token returns to the bottom of the stack. We're all red here. Do what? Matt's token returns to the bottom of the stack. Oh, actually, sorry. No, that should have scored. Sorry. Good call. All right. So Bruges. So we score Bruges. So here, so it's going to be three for yellow, one for purple. Now we go into final scoring. We should have done that at, just at the end. So no, no harm, no foul there. So Barcelona now here. So it looks like it's going to be three for red, two for yellow, one for purple. Okay, so that's Barcelona. Then we go Santa Croce. So it looks like Matt's going to take three, two for purple, one for yellow. And then we go into marble, which I think I snuck in there. I did. So it's going to be three yellow. So it's going to be three for yellow. Uh, who's in second there? You guys are tied. Amanda is, because yeah, we're tied. And then, well, hold on. One, oh. two, three, four, five. Yeah, she's got eight. Mm -hmm. Sorry. And one for, there we go. And when we scored Bruges, why did I only get one point and you got you three? Sh you should have gotten one more. Okay. Should have gotten two. Okay. I just one cube. Okay, that's all fine. Right. I just so was confused. So that is all the scoring there. Then we reveal. So we'll flip this one over first. We'll do it dramatically and see. So what is that? Lisbon. Oh, hey, look at that one extra. Rock on. So I score five for the and the final scoring, as you guys can see here, it's five for yellow. Uh, three for second, which is going to be for red. 
and zero for purple. Okay, so Amanda, you were first. So which is that? That is this. Palazzo Vecchio. So that's going to be total here. So it's going to be Amanda for five. Uh, and three, yeah, four, second. five for you. One, two, three for, yep, it's three for red and one for yellow. Tight game. It is. And then Toi, it's going to be five for yellow to 35. It's going to be three for purple. One, two, three, and zero for red. And Matt, the final scoring. Dun, dun, dun. Can you see it? London. Put it with the others. Oh, or up here. Man. So five for Matt at 37. And look at that. Hashtag bad teacher. Wow. One, two, three, <laughs> and zero. I knew that was going to happen. I yep. knew it. <laughs> wow. 38, I win. Uh, Matt comes in. Second. Second to the shock of absolutely no one at 37. And Amanda, thank you for playing. Dang but it, it was that was a tight really game. tight. Mm -hmm. All right, that was much tighter than with five players. Yes. Uh, all right. Oh, wrong one. Sorry about that. There we go. So yeah. Um, so that's Kalimala. Um, so you're the first one to, or you. This is your first play, is what mm -hmm. I'm trying to say. So what do you think of it, Matt? It is a nice medium euro with an interesting mechanic that I haven't seen. I've seen kind of this, but not done this way. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I enjoyed that quite a bit. Um, just trying to figure it out. First game, you know, I just decided I'm going to go off and do something you guys weren't doing. See Which how that, usually it seemed to work, seemed to work out idea. fairly well. Yep. Just not one point well enough, or two points well enough, really. Yep. Um, but actually no. one point because the, the one exactly. point you would have won I due see. to the first tiebreaker which is Good most seats know. in the council there you go so yeah so by one point Whew. yeah just yeah just a neat little little just kind of midway arrow it's, it's totally it's school school night worthy i believe yep I'm totally sorry. and it plays three to five the mm -hmm. only downside of this that i can think of is the fact that it plays three yeah. the lowest player count is three for those that say, yeah, you could, yeah, you could, but why would yeah. you? I, If we're talking a two-player game, area majority stuff, I just don't want to play that yeah, just, for a two-player. No, it just doesn't seem like it would be be like an auction game with two players. Right. Just kinda, Usually not yeah. the ideal game. So how right. about you? It's your second game. I really enjoy the, this is awesome. And I really like that all of this is is random every time because oh, you, you mean the placement of these yeah i like that you don't know that it's not always okay always Twa is going to score first so i have to make sure to go there first you know it's not that every time it's always different yeah that would be that would make for a really boring game and so, not much by way of legs right and i so i really like it so it's obviously got really good legs cool um yeah for me like i said i'm already five games into this and it's a very simple game mechanically. There's just not a lot here, uh, but there doesn't need to be. There, mm -hmm. there seems to be enough depth, and the games all have played out completely different uh, based on where the action tiles are in the order of the mm -hmm. scoring tiles. Yeah. I'm just a really big fan. This, I think, in my opinion, is the best game that ADC Blackfire's done so far mm -hmm. between this, King's Will, Cali or uh, Croftwagon... I think those are it. There may be one other that I'm forgetting, but mm -hmm. of the ones that we've tried, this takes the cake. And yeah, I'm really excited that we got to share the booth yes. the year this came out. So yeah. I, I will share the thing that I was thinking about before because oh, I had yeah. this. Oh yeah. I should have just filled that thing up. Yeah. Because I could have. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, in London, you're yeah, saying? Yeah. Just yep. locked it up. Yeah. Then yep. that way you would have locked out every anybody from getting That's, any points. There you go. Yeah. That's what I was trying to do up here and there. Yep. But didn't quite work, but well, it's still this a isn't really gonna, competitive game. Right. But I don't, you're I'm not I wouldn't ever be able to completely lock that out because of yeah. that. Yeah. So. Um and for those that came late, let me see the building so I can show you guys again. Um so the the special up. stuff here. Yeah, and yeah, there you go. You oh, can actually here. put them like that and we'll show from the overhead here. So those are the buildings. So these stand up there like that, and they go in these little plexiglass pieces, which hold the cubes, which in theory works really, really well. 
The only problem is if you're sitting on that side of the table, like where Matt is, it makes it a lot harder to be able to see those cubes through the 3D buildings. It'd be terrible for a three-player game if you sat all on that side. So. Sure, I get that. But my point is for those that, because there was a lot of, not whining, but there was a lot of disappointment that people missed out on these because it was limited to the first 300 people at Spiel. Completely unnecessary. It literally, it looks cool. They look good. But other than that, they, they serve they, no purpose. They do. And it also kind of hinders knowing, I mean, it's obvious that these are all the same. But if it's your first game, that yeah, covers, able, that, it covers, covers that up. Covers what the kids are. Yep. So, so yeah. So don't feel like you missed out. Mm -hmm. I guess is is the moral of the story is what I'm trying to say. Um, all right. So let's see questions here from the peanut gallery. Uh, Franny says if Amanda had shipped to London instead of Barcelona, she would have been joint first with Matt. Oh, interesting. Uh. All right, so small decisions matter, yep, right? Yep, they really do. Uh, Jacob says, I missed the teach and caught up on the gameplay. Definition of a midway game for me. Yep. And and the cool thing is, is it doesn't do any, it doesn't try to be more than mm -hmm. it is. Uh, Thomas says, the hidden scoring card is a significant turnoff for me. You can always do with the same thing that we recommend in Shipyard. Yep. That if you don't like the hidden scoring... There you go. That's what's going to be scored mm -hmm. at the end of the game. You could always have it as open information if you want. So that's an option. Yep. Uh, so there's that. Uh, the action tile layout is random. It is uh, before the game. It's just random, the eight tiles around the outside here. So all of these eight, the only one that's there is that. So all of these are randomized at the beginning of the game. There you go. Okay. So could end up completely different. Same with these guys up there for the scoring tiles. Uh, cool. All right, so that's it. Yeah. yeah. All right, thanks for playing, y'all. Appreciate it. Um, hashtag bad teacher, as I said. Thanks, everybody, for watching, whether it's live or after the fact. We definitely appreciate it. Um, so we have a giveaway. We do. Go to heavycardboard.com forward slash Kalimala. And you will be asked answer some questions, and you'll be entered to win a fifty-five dollar gift card from Game Surplus. So yeah, big thanks to Carmen and Elaine over at Game Surplus for making that available. When are we going to do it? When are we going to actually give it away? I was thinking a week from tomorrow at the sure. weekly, or a week from Sunday uh, to give folks enough. You'll that, still uh, be here, weekly, right? Yeah. The oh, weekly that's our anniversary. Ahead. You can get it on our anniversary. Yeah. Um, I remember that one. I don't remember our wedding anniversary, yeah, but I remember yeah, the day we met. Right, that's funny. So, again, <laughs> heavycardboard.com forward slash Kalimala. You spell it? Like that. Like that. <laughs> okay. I, I honestly sat there for a second. I'm like, should I name it okay. that? But right. No. All right. So, there you go. So, you enter the questions. You have to enter the questions correctly. Yes. So, it's not... It, they're not hard, but it does require you, you to go just, to our site yeah. and Game Surplus's site. You can't site, go which is, just blah, 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 blah. Right, because we will disqualify you. Yes. Yeah. All right, so cool. Thanks, everybody. Um, also, don't forget, we have about 30 hours, give or take a little bit, of our patron drive. Um, the next milestone is, well, it's me being able to be a full-time producer of Heavy Cardboard. So if you guys enjoy this and enjoy the frequency at which we're able to do the playthroughs as well as the uh everything that we're doing on the podcast then all our reviews and such the conversations then consider supporting us it's down below there it's uh, pledgehc.com and you can either do annual as one did during or you could go through patreon well, as one did, as one did. <laughs> so we definitely appreciate the 552 of you guys yes. that are out there thank you very much um so yeah edward amanda matt take care y'all we'll see y'all later bye bye